Hey guys, it's Derek Stone here for sr and TV. Just want to show you guys a couple projects we've been working on. This is a double French door with a transom window uh, above it. Um, we had some issues with the drywall not matching up here on the outside. This was a big opening right here. So what we ended up doing was Home Depot sells this really cool rectangular product that's just like a furring strip. So we got those and it actually went uh, match perfect. So we installed those all the way around the edge of this interior here uh, to fur it out. Once we put the casing on, we floated the drywall mud out with 20 minute mud and then finished it with regular drywall mud on the last coat. It just makes it easier to sand. And then here, where the transom meets the, the door jam, we ran, we got this uh, roundover product uh, and just installed it here all the way across to cover up that line. So it just makes it, gives it a nicer finish. On this uh, opening right here, they wanted, uh, the homeowners wanted a bifold door. So what we ended up doing, but it was too far down to cut the door in half where the trim is. And I'll show you what we're talking about here in a minute with the panels. Um, so what we did is we took a two by four and just furred this up. It used to end right here. We brought this whole thing up a two by four with it, put a drywall on it, and removed this top cap and just moved it up. And so uh, re caulked it, uh, re muttered all this. And so now all this is ready for paint. Uh, and I want to show you guys the steps that it took to cut down the actual uh, bifold door itself. So we're going to move to the garage and I'm going to show you guys that, okay? Okay, so with the bifold door, um, what I was talking about as far as the panels go is that these, you have a top panel and a bottom panel, and the way the opening was going to work was it was going to be cutting into the bottom panel here. Um, I'm going to grab this piece and show you what I'm talking about. This was the cutoff piece. Um, is that 54 inches was way down here from the top of that door, so I didn't want to cut in the middle of this panel, kind of look stupid. So in this middle part, what we did is we just measured the distance of the opening when we brought the bottom of that door up, the bottom of the opening up. So when you cut in the bottom of this panel, you make your measurements, whatever it's got to be. I use a straight edge, which was a two by four because I had one handy. You can use a level or anything that's straight, one by whatever it is. Always clamp it on the inside so your saw can pass by it without hitting it. And then when you, when you go to use your, to set your measurement to cut this, because your guard is gonna be against the wood, you need to measure how far your blade's gonna be from the edge. So you'll measure, that one's an inch and three eighths. So you'll make that measurement inch and three eighths or wherever your measurement's gonna be. You'll do that right there. And uh, that way when you cut, this is just for an example, when you cut, your blade will ride around, it'll skirt on the edge just like that. And it'll have a flat surface. What that result is, is it gives you a, a straight edge. So I just want to show you guys that. Moving on to that, uh, when you take this thing apart, you get these, these little one by strips on the sides and on the bottom. The bottoms already had holes drilled in them. So what we did is we just took the Luan. This Luan's glued on. You just take it and pull the Luan off these pieces and you get them. You just get on the back. So what we did is we used the same sides. When you cut this hollow door, this is what it looks like. It's hollow underneath. You can see the panels inside. But what we do is you just take these little pieces out and you just insert them back in, just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll apply some glue on these. We'll insert these back in and they'll, we'll set them flush and then we can paint the door and install it. All right, you guys like this, subscribe. Be a fan. We love you guys. Have a good day.